Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. In the last episode, you would have recalled we learned how to be able to swap the content of one display module to another using Logic. Well, since then, a number of new pieces of functionality have been added to being able to manipulate the content of display modules, which is really exciting, along with the ability for a sensor block to detect whether two display modules match. So there's a lot of new functionality and a lot of opportunity to explore just how far we can push the abilities of display modules and logic. But for now, let's introduce you to a new functionality that's been added so you have a basis of where to start from. So over here, you'll see we have a display module like so its content is just the words hello world and the block above is connected to our display module at the front here it's not connected to the one below it's just right next to it and this is how we can manipulate the entire content of a display module so it just copies over the content like so well there's been a new tag added called password and we can add it by doing square bracket all in capitals the word password and then at the end of a square bracket and you'll see when I hit OK the content seems to disappear it's not a glitch it actually is still there but now it's kind of secured so no one else is able to read it which is really useful using the sensor because the sensor block uh, when detecting or comparing the contents of two display modules actually doesn't see that password tag so it's a really easy way to be able to build password protected areas which is something we'll be going into in one of the next episodes but for now we'll take it out so we can actually see what we're doing with this one and you can see it is hello world again and copying over as we normally would the next one you'll see it has the tag add and the tag add lets us add anything after it so in this case we'll add the words spacebar hello world like so and again it's connected to our display module here and when we push it you'll see it adds the content hello world many times <laughs> which is uh, really cool it lets us add content pretty easily just onto the end of what is already existing here in this particular display module the next one is called delete and again we've got it connected and delete lets us define how many numbers uh, how many blocks not blocks sorry how many uh, characters off the end of the content of a display module it's connected to uh, it will remove so in this case it's set to one and if we push it you can see it is removing one character each time I push it from the end of my content but say I want to remove more in this case all my words are five letter words with a spacebar so if I change it to six now it's remaining uh, removing entire words the next one we go to is a bit more complicated and it works along very similar to the one next to it and they're both called replace first and replace all and this is allows us to define particular content for it to look for in the connected display module and actually replace it with something else so in this case if we look for hello world and you'll see what I'm looking for is put between the replace first and the width and I'm basically saying replace hello world with say goodbye world and in this case because it says first it's going to look for the very first let's add a couple more in here boop, 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 boop. it's going to look for the very first match of the word hello world now it's obviously case sensitive so if i push it you'll see oh it's just changed hello world to goodbye world and if we push it again you'll see it's again doing it and again doing that so that lets you change things one at a time if we go over to the replace all with what we can do is actually change this to be replace all say goodbye world with hello world like so and there we have it so you can see if we push that now it changes all the ones that were goodbye world to hello world so you can see if I fill it up with goodbye worlds and push it all it becomes hello world again so that's what those new functionality and features do do sometimes if uh, you try to change things it'll come up with a syntax error if you're not using it correctly you can always hit r and go to help to be able to see all the details as well in the next episode we'll be looking at how we can actually detect and use the sensor block to compare to 
of the V2 content of our display modules. Until then, my name is Bench. Thanks for watching.